Greetings, Dave here. Today I'm going to discuss how I make um, liquid culture, especially how I make the lids for it. The lid is a filter that prevents uh, contaminants from getting inside the jar, but it allows the jar to breathe. <clears throat> and that's especially important uh, when you pressure cook, obviously. And it has a um, injection port. And these are really convenient because you can put a syringe into there and pull out liquid. So you can inoculate the jar or you can actually use the liquid culture to inoculate something else. And the process is really simple. This is all I have on hand today and I can't get any more of these for a long time um, for the obvious reasons right now. But uh, this is the hydrophilic version. In other words, it likes water. And this is the hydrophobic version, which is really the correct thing to use because it repels water. And we don't want water to come out when we turn this thing upside down because we can use the injection port and none of the fluid comes out. Okay, so I'm gonna drill two holes in here. One hole is a half inch diameter hole that um, takes the injection port. And the other is a hole that's uh, 0.17 inches in diameter. <clears throat> and that uh, is the right size for this little end of the filter. So to get both the injection port and the filter on there, I have to be a little bit careful where I place this. So I measure the diameter of this to be around 1.2 inches. So I want to go 6 tenths of an inch from right there. And I'm going to put a mark where I want to drill the hole for the uh, filter. So and put a mark there. Then the filter comes out another six tenths of an inch from that, so the filter will stop there. And then I put the injection port right there. I have to be careful to do that right, not get it too close to the filter, but not get it too close to this edge either. So, but it turns out there's enough room with a little bit of care. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna go 0.45 inches, yeah, from here to there, and it works. And now we'll drill some holes. So these step drills are really nice things. And I've marked the ring that steps to a half an inch diameter. So I want to use that for the injection port. the hole for the injection port and it fits in there in a way that's kind of self-sealing and I've never had a problem with that. If you're uncomfortable with that you can run a little bit of silicone rubber sealant against the bottom of this before you stick it in and maybe I'll do that just to demonstrate. So again, this is 0.175. So I want to go a couple of thou bigger than that just to make it easy to insert. This is a number 15 drill and it's 176. So it should just work. Classic 
problem. When you drill, you should always clamp your work <laughs> down. Sorry about that. And I probably buggered that up pretty good, but it'll still work. Okay, so I flattened out the uh, lifted metal, and uh, let's see if I can do that again. All right. And let's see how I did. That will be fine, because we're going to RTV this guy on there. A very important thing is to rough up the surface of this polyethylene because the RTV won't stick to it unless you do that. So I've got 120 grit sandpaper and I'm just going around to take the shine off of uh, that surface. And then the RTV sticks to it well enough to keep it in there and these lids will last for years. So let's get the RTV. So this is what I'm using today. I've used them all. They all seem to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to push out a little dollop onto a piece of tape. And the first thing I will do is I'll I'll apply a little bit of RTV to this guy just to make sure that he seals. All right. I've got a little squeeze out. That's looking good. And <clears throat> we'll do the same thing here. First this side. I go through. And now we just um, goop that up pretty good. And this will cure in a few hours, and it'll actually be ready to use. In the meantime, we'll talk about the recipe. The recipe is really simple. I use 3% uh, caro syrup. So for every liter, that would be 30 grams or 30 milliliters of caro syrup. Caro syrup. And I use, um, for every liter, I would use four grams or four milliliters of my yeast extract concentrate. Okay, so it's been uh, three hours and things have set up. Everything's on there nice and tightly. And so I check the fit, everything fits well. And that'll go on there and we're done.